Shook, la 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 Shorty Shook, do 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 Shorty, 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 shorty Show it, shorty, shorty Shorty show it, shorty show Da 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 Trudy. Can't go on like this. We'll talk about it when I get home. Trudy, let me explain. Oh. <laughs> Later. Must go work. We're having a few uh, minor problems in the bedroom department at the moment, you know. Not that I'm uh, coy about, you know, doing it. It's just that uh, as a kid, I heard my parents making love and it was very traumatic. I thought, my dad, the bastard. <laughs> Every night he's hurting my mother. Every night he just hurts her and hurts her. All the horrible noises. I wasn't in the next room or anything. They uh, taped it for me and played it to me at breakfast time. <laughs> and that's when I was playing to Trudy in there. She didn't like it. <laughs> I'll never forget it, though. I was going to school and Dad says, No, son, come here, listen to this. And I went, what? And he says, listen. I went, uh, 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 uh. And I went, what's this, the tennis? <laughs> he says, no, that's me and your mum making love. And I went, oh, get off that, you're horrible. Then he tried to explain that he wasn't really hurting her, but he didn't explain it very well, because the next day I saw two guys fighting each other. And I went, hey, great sex, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and they started hitting me, and I went, oh, an orgy, fair enough. Come on, come on. <laughs> But uh, besides that, we're just like any normal couple whatsoever. Like, it's, it's no problem, really. That's, I've never been Catholic guilt that's been my problem. It's just that I've never really gotten over the fact that my uh, penis looks like Bobby Charlton. But it's not... <laughs> besides that, we're just like any normal couple whatsoever, honest to God. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd given up. <laughs> Bedtime's really great, because we built like the uh, right-hand side of the bed, so there's always that tussle, 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 tussle all night. And also, she likes to read quite late into the night, so I always wake up with migraines, which is very good. And she, she doesn't like me to wear my socks in bed as well, for some reason. <laughs> oh, I don't know, just one of my little skills. <laughs> And you learn so much about yourself when you're in a relationship as well. Like, I used to think I got a good night's sleep when you're on your own. You just fall asleep and you go, oh, and you wake up in the morning and go, oh. What a lovely sleep I just had. I must have had some lovely dreams. I really must have. Apparently, I've been deluding myself. Trudy videotaped us last night to prove it to me. Sean. Sean. What? Do you fancy trying for a kid? I'm never, ever going to take you to see Three Men and a Baby again. You're the only person who takes these movies seriously. No, I really, 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 really want a baby. <laughs> no, I can't. Bobby's asleep. Bye, Bobby. Bobby. Bye, Bobby. <laughs> 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 Richard's number one, release the bats! Release the bats! Release the bats! <laughs> oh, what a lovely sleep I just had. Such lovely dreams. Trudy, restless night. <laughs> They're uh, just teething problems, really. Because I've realised, you know, relationships don't work out just overnight. You have to work out. I'm determined to give this one a go. I really... Sure sure. Just had that fixed. Sure sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure sure. Harry, what are you doing? Oh, just making it look as if you're seeing someone else. <laughs> don't don't really, but Why? Barry... What's wrong with you this series? You're just so obnoxious. I've never done you any harm. Look, you've got a wife. Can I have a little bit of happiness? No. No, you can't. Oh, it's all right for you, isn't it? You get all the attention. You're the one people write to. Do you know, since I started doing this show, I've only been recognised once. <laughs> that was by the butcher and he's my dad. <laughs> and he thinks it's shit. Oh, everybody says, Paul! 
old Sean. He's so sensitive. <laughs> if only they knew what you were really like. Stop her, Barry, will you? Stop her. Poor old Sean with his Catholic guilt. What about my Protestant guilt? Well, <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should stop sleeping with other women. <laughs> you think it's so simple, don't you? I hate these TV programmes. There's a problem and then a solution and it always happens in these overly large sitting rooms. This isn't real life. What do the people in charge of TV know about the real world? They're all superficial bastards! Sorry about that, Mr. Grade. Look, I'm telling you, Barry, right? <laughs> but you're ruining everything we've worked for here. We just want people to forget about the problems for a half an hour. Forget that life is shit. No, Sean. They watch these programmes and they feel excluded. It alienates normal people. They feel impotent. <laughs> problems aren't solved in half an hour. They are. I was watching 2.4. Stop watching TV. Smash your sets now. You must put, put a caption up. Put a caption up. Yes. Some viewers may be experiencing difficulties in certain areas. Oh, yeah, we're all experiencing difficulties. We hope to return to normal programming as soon as possible. Wahey! It's what ho, actually, Barry. <laughs> Poor old Barry, that was a long time coming, you know. See, he's never really gotten over the fact that his uh, penis looks like Nobby style. <laughs> this is pebbles! Well, hey! Actually, can I ask your advice? Sit down there. What is it? Mrs. Pebbles, you've lived a bit. What I'd like to say to it... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Mrs. Pebbles, women, I just don't understand them. Join the club! I think Trudy wants to have a baby. She keeps on dropping little hints. She bought one of those baby bouncer things. She's also enrolled my sperm for eating. <laughs> Didn't realise it's such a long waiting list. I know just what you mean. I said, I'm not ready for that kind of commitment, you know. No, it's what they all say. See, I think the problem is, Mrs P, it's the way you were brought up. Like, when I was young, like, we didn't hang out with girls. It was all men together. We all had a gang mentality. We used to hang out in a little gang, and we were big, brave men who were frightened of little women. And how did we show... Like, we didn't even know what to do, but we still, in a gang, we used to go around and say things like, hey, guys, 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 great tits. <laughs> and, like, you'd join in, you go, oh, great, yeah, they were great tits. They were really nice tits, those ones. Like, Sean, stop going on. Oh, sorry, I don't know the rules. You just say great tits. I didn't know... Okay. Then it's... <laughs> hey, nice ass. Oh, yeah, really nice ass. Really curt... Oh, Sean, shut up. Oh, sorry, I just... Then, of course, I get my chances. Well, I didn't even know what I was saying, but I'd still say it. Hey, guys, 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 guys. Great tits. <laughs> Sean, that's a cow, that is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I meant to say great teeth. Sorry about that. Because <laughs> we didn't know how to express our feelings towards women. If we liked a woman, our way of showing her that was to pull her ponytail. <laughs> Fun for you. <laughs> even to this day, you see men being offhand with women, still pulling ponytails, because they don't know how to express their feelings. We're frightened of our own feelings. I don't know, like, I've seemed to have broke the barrier with Trudy, but this is another... I don't want to have a kid. Mrs. P, tell me it's just a phase she's going through. <laughs> <laughs> Tony? Tony, you, you didn't hear any of that, did you? Oh, come off it, Sean. Nobody listens when you go into one of your rants. Oh, good. <laughs> kids, eh? <laughs> me and you, we weren't meant to have kids. We're on the open road champagne all the time, me I've and got you. a kid. What? Oh, right, one of those drunken one-night yeah. stands. You don't know where the kid is, but you get it on Panga Guild type situation. Yeah. I'm happily married, actually. <laughs> married? <laughs> You've never told me that. You never asked. I've got two kids. Tony's married with kids. Yeah, once I got over the fact that my penis looked like George Best, that was fine. <laughs> yeah, there's little Brian. Brian, what kind, of, what kind of a name is that for a kid? Family tradition. We always name our kids after whoever's number one in the pop chart at the time. Brian Adams, yeah. yeah. I've got the little one outside, if you'd like to see her. I don't usually bring her in, cos she's a bit frightened of you. No, I don't. Yeah, I there she is. She's cute, isn't she? Her name's Technotronic. <laughs> Yeah, you must be uh, very proud. Honey, I'm home! Quick, hide the thing. She'll only get all broody. <laughs> oh. All right, love. Mm. How's work? It's fine. <laughs> Did I just say, how's work? God, I'm turning into my parents. Well, I'm trying to get to somebody's parents. Isn't he? Oh, 
Sheer, what's his name? He's a she, actually. She's cute, isn't she? Her name's Technotronic. Oh, I bought that one. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Trudy. Trudy, there's some post here. I'm afraid Eaton uh, didn't take her sperm. And uh, there's, there's one here from work. It looks important. Maybe you should open that. <laughs> Nearly got the scrambled egg off the saucepan today. Broke the drill trying. <laughs> she is cute, isn't she? I bet you thought I was too immature to have kids. It did cross my mind. Yeah, well, we all change, Sean. We've all got to grow up sometimes. By the way, Sean, you're a very lucky man. Trudy there, she's, you know, great tits. <laughs> Sean, I've made my mind up. We're having a baby! Did, uh, did I miss a big discussion between us two? <laughs> you know, the old weighing up the pros and cons of the situation. Cos it's not that easy, is it? Oh! That's one ugly charge. You wouldn't fancy having that around the house all day, would you? It's all right for you. My womb is a barren desert buffeted by hormonal winds. My ovaries are two shriveled sacks like unplucked plums withering on the bough. Has anyone got any paracetamol? <laughs> I'm going to make a start in the basement now. Is it all right if Techno stays here? I don't think so, Tony. What if she gets out, she might eat one of the studio audience. <laughs> don't be silly, Sean. Of course she can. Yeah, she's cute, isn't she? She's got her mother's eyes. <laughs> See, she's got four eyes. That's bloody... <laughs> Oh, it's just moved. Oh, oh, oh sure. God, an allergy. I thought you loved me. I do. Oh, good. Does that mean yes, then? <laughs> oh, look, we're about to have an ad break, and you know how important this is to me, and I've been five weeks in my show, so hang on a second. Ad break. Yeah. <laughs> the devil's child. Sure, do the right thing. Relax, it's fine. <sighs> so many little worries. How do I know if it's mine? Of course it is. Let me have a look. <laughs> ah, so it's got some... No, he's not. Look, I don't know if we thought this one through enough. Like, I don't know if I'm ready. Like, what about my sexuality? Like, I haven't fully explored it. You hear about certain married men, they see one Tennessee Williams play and off to Sussex they go to live. <laughs> Like, we have to think this through. Like, like, where's the nanny going to sleep? Nanny? Yeah, well, we're going to need a nanny. So I can have a bit on the side to add some spice to our relationship <laughs> after a while. You're determined not to do this. OK, uh, fine. Right, we won't have a child. You know it makes sense. But if I can't have a baby, you're not keeping that smelly dog! <laughs> I was better off on my own, I'll tell you that much. What have you got to look forward to in life, Techno? The odd bit part in a Stephen King movie? I've got to be off now, Sean. I've got to pick Brian up from school. He's the brains of the family. Techno got the looks. <laughs> <laughs> he said his first words this morning. Yeah? Yeah, I was so proud. He just came up and said, was that a Big Mac fries and would you like apple pie with that? <laughs> I think he'll go far. Mm. I can see why Trudy's so insistent on having one. Well, it's not, I'm so anti the idea. I just think she's jumping the gun a little bit. Like, we haven't even had sex yet. <laughs> not in front of the baby. Certainly not. I'm from Ireland. So he lights out in the bedroom. <laughs> no, don't mention S-E-X. Oh, don't start that. My mum and dad were forever doing that, which was pointless, because dad couldn't spell to save his life. <laughs> he came in and goes, should we go upstairs now for a B-I-N-K? I think I'll be going, bink, a bink. <laughs> um, I think it's sexy once. I'm not sure a bink or something like, you know? What am I going to do? Well, you could always go to those adult night classes. Yeah, thanks, Sonny. You're a great help. Make some noise, Techno! It's my dog. I don't want to lose my dog. All right, fella, you never... You know, Trudy, she only thinks you're my substitute for a child. It's incredible, isn't it, Sean Jr.? <laughs> what? It's a nice name for a dog. Right, this might work. Trudy! Trudy, I was thinking maybe we should talk a bit more, but um, in the meantime, I've got you some videos. What are they? The Omen? <laughs> <laughs> The hand that rocks the cradle? 
and Rosemary's baby. <laughs> and about the dog, Trudy, you don't really want it gone, do you? No. No, I don't. Good. I want it killed, and I want the two old gits out of the spare room as well. Thanks for being so reasonable. <laughs> Kill the dog and get rid of the refugees. How do they get the chimps to speak in those adverts? It's all very well, but they're taking jobs away from established TV personalities. <laughs> they're not ready for the real world yet. Right, kill the dog then. <laughs> for your own good, Sean Jr. Bit of practice first. <laughs> I've just been promoted. I'm in charge of the whole area now. You mean you don't want to have a baby? Baby? Oh, Sean, you know how oversensitive you get at this time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to be that oversensitive every time of the month? Well, that wasn't a bad one. Anyway, it's over now, which means we can have some sex. <laughs> well, if you're going to be so romantic about it. <laughs> What about all the people? <laughs> but Bobby isn't in the mood. He doesn't just, just turn up and play. Come on. <laughs> no hang-ups, you said. Yeah, but... OK, but we blindfold the cameraman and the audience. All right. You're not supposed to wear a blindfold. Why not? Here, read this. I'll be in the bedroom when you're ready. Oh. <laughs> I bet I look like just like Paul Weller at the moment. <laughs> How not to be a flop in bed? Apparently, if you get all of women to dance erotically in a nude in front of you, that's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Some romantic music. Elvis, uh, Elvis, sing us one of your romantic songs there, would you? It's now or never. It's a home as I had. I'll say, well, baby, I'm going to give her a I'll call her Parker and I'll tell her, Oh, my girl. And why away? You've kind of lost your touch a little bit, haven't you? <laughs> Elvis, how did you get into the mood with, you know, Priscilla? Well, Paul Bill will have for that kind of thing. <laughs> what about Cliff Richard? What was that? Is he going to like how a little bit of and help drove out a people pop up? Cliff Richard on the crane, spare me the details, please. <laughs> Elvis, eh? I love you. I love you, Elvis. Hi, Sean. Isn't life great? Caption, put a caption up. Hey, that's a lovely cardy. <laughs> Ah, oh, you and Trudy make a great couple. <laughs> Hope it all works out for you. Electrodes, yeah? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, better be off. Have to keep. Have to keep. Have to keep. <laughs> oh. oh, well, chop, chop. Have a lovely day. That's a lovely cardie. <laughs> By the way, Sean. Yeah? I love you. <laughs> Here, mate. Give my ball back. No, you can't have your ball back. Come on, mate. We've got a semi final over it. I don't care. <laughs> Vinny, I love you. Oh, you can have it, son. Vinny, <laughs> please. Just a quick joke. Come on. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Have you got kids, have you? Yes. Here you go. <laughs> right, now, sex. Trudy's in there right now. Oh, it's working now to get into the mood, right? Sex is good, it's clean, it's fun. There's nothing better than going in there now and making love to the person I'm in love with. What could be more natural? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Worth a try. <laughs> 
Jazz, jazz, jazz. <laughs> God! God, what do you laugh for? <laughs> what, no sex before marriage? Fair enough. <laughs> Hang about. God, I'm starting to get turned on, yes! <laughs> to hell with God, yes, we're two consenting adults. We can do what the hell we like. OK, what are my sexual fantasies? Right, me and Trudy, let's have sex in the bath, yes! It's not that you want to have sex in the bath. You just want to be able to say you've had sex in the bath. <laughs> if it comes into those horrible conversations late at night with a few beers, hey, Sean, have you ever had sex in the bath? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes shallow, sometimes deep, and sometimes with bubbles. <laughs> right, let's have sex while watching songs of praise! Yes! Right, oh, what will really get rid of all the guilt yeah, and all my inhibitions? Let's have sex while on the telephone to my parents. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not talking to them at the moment, so I can't really. <laughs> I hope I can make her orgasm. Well, people put too much emphasis on the orgasm, don't they? Like, did, did, did you come? And guys out there watching, I think if you need to ask, I think you already know the answer, really, don't you? <laughs> there's, there's little giveaways, isn't there? Like noise and excitement and your partner still being in the same room. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Did you come? Yes, very quietly. I didn't want to wake myself up. <laughs> now, are you sure now? Because, like, I'm a new man. Did you come? Yes, did you not hear me? I went, eat. That was me. <laughs> if I have another eat before I die, I'll die a happy woman, Sean. Because with you, it's eat, 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 eat. You're the king. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now I've got rid of all my inhibitions, but uh, we can do it wherever the hell we want. But mind you, this first time, maybe it just in the bedroom with the lights off, just in case. <laughs> Trudy, I'm ready! About time! <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you taken any precautions? Yeah, don't worry, I've locked the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm all hot. Oh, that's freezing! It's a condom. Why'd you keep them in the deep freeze? <laughs> oh, that's better. Uh, uh, I thought you'd uh, thrown that tape away. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to remind myself. I hadn't had sex in ages. Oh. Mm. Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That bit's really hairy. <laughs> <laughs> what bit? That, that bit I'm touching right now. <laughs> You're not touching me anywhere. <laughs> what am I touching then? She's cute, isn't she? Oh, techno! Where's that lovely Cardi? Barry? Right, who, who threw that? Sorry. Mrs. Cabell. this line is very bad. Dad can hardly hear you now. Who did that? Sean, come on. No, I'm not, not Bobby's. Uh, look, actually, I'd quite like to watch Songs of Praise, actually. <laughs> Hey, this one's highway! <laughs> <laughs>